Hello, uh, this is Dr. Olga Majaj. I will be presenting today our study uh, on large area low intensity shockwave therapy for treating women's sexual dysfunction and stress uh, urinary incontinence. Our aim was to evaluate a new energy-based treatment option with a potentially high safety profile for women suffering from stress urinary incontinence and or sexual dysfunction. It involved the administration of low intensity shock waves applied both topically and transvaginally. As we know, uh, shock waves uh, started to be used uh, since the 1980s for fragmenting urinary tract stones in orthopedic uh, as an anti-inflammatory and for non-union fractures. Also, since 10 years ago, they, uh, they, they started to be used in treating vasculogenic epithelial disorders. The biological response uh, include angiogenesis as well as the possible activation of progenitor stem cells there were studies in vitro and in vivo which confirmed that low intensity shock waves enhance, enhance growth factor uh, transforming uh, transforming growth factor beta 1 and collagen types 1 and 3 as well as increase uh, in the release of nitric oxide and activation of vascular endothelial growth factor which uh, uh, the end result is of course uh, neovascularization. There were uh, two studies uh, related to this subject. Uh, one uh, was on a rat model that demonstrated that low intensity shock waves ameliorated stress urinary incontinence by promoting angiogenesis and urethrosphenter regeneration. Uh, another clinical trial from Taiwan uh, uh, was the first human uh, study applying shock waves externally on the suprapubic region. In our study, uh, we used a novel shock wave therapy device called Mornova. It was capable of transvaginal uh, application due to its unique uh, 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 transducer that enabled precise targeting of different shaped organs. Uh, we have 21 patients suffering from stress urinary incontinence and or sexual dysfunction. Each patient underwent six sessions uh, for three weeks. Uh, there were six application areas uh, on the labia minora, bilaterally labia majora, and two transvaginal applications uh, towards the urethra. Each patient received a total of 2,100 shocks per session, which lasted approximately 20 minutes and uh, clinical results were assessed with the FSFI and uh, with the international uh, consultation uh, incontinence questionnaires. The assumption was that low intensity shock waves stimulate the release of growth factors in vaginal tissue resulting in the generation of new blood vessels it also increases uh, sensitivity in the vagina and improves sensation uh, and increase natural lubrication production. Also, it tightens tissue in the vaginal canal and strengthens muscle to improve the incontinent, incontinence symptoms. The results were as follow. Uh, 12 patients suffering from stress incontinence symptoms uh, the average score on the initiation of treatment was 17.58 and after uh, the sessions they improved gradually 
still score 7.25 uh, on the one month and three months follow-up. Other uh, 13 patients suffering from sexual dysfunction symptoms, their score at the beginning of the treatment was by the FSFI score uh, about 10.81 and improved uh, gradually uh, till the end of the treatment, uh, reaching about 28.99, which shows a good improvement in sexual function. So uh, the initial results from this study show promise in treatment of stress incontinence related or not related to sexual dysfunction. Of course, uh, more studies must be done involving control groups uh, to better understand the benefit for women suffering from different types of urogynecological conditions. But um, what we can take away with us that transvaginal shockwave therapy is a new and safe minimally invasive treatment option and need further investigation. Thank you very much.